bugs here must be annoying. <laughs> Wait, was your... Okay. She ripped off her arm, right? Why is her ear missing? Yeah, you are immortal. Hmm. Yeah, he's worried. <laughs> Pet me. <laughs> I really want Reg to get his memories back. Is she asleep? Uh, uh, yeah. Are we about to be ambushed by a whole bunch of beasts? Mm. Are they just waiting for Reg to come back? a piece of fapta you heard him rico let's get inside yeah because her arm wasn't up that high right oh yeah because you did take the whistle didn't you i forgot about that <laughs> wait but if fapta took the whistle how did it get in the village because fapta can't go in the village right Oh wait, this hollow, this hollow will recognize. Alright. Oh, is it because you have a piece of her daughter? I'm sure that's why. Yeah. Okay. They probably break. Well, she gave it to him. We didn't we didn't take it unwillingly. Can't tell you that. That's classified information. I mean, at least we can't say it in public. Yeah. Hmm. Rewrite, okay. <laughs> Are you biting him? Yeah, why are you biting him? Oh, okay. Re okay, rewrite the laws. Hey, hey, Rico, come on now. We can't tell everybody about the incinerator. The prince all along. Oh, the prince to the princess? Okay. Hmm. 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 Yeah, I was about to say, he clearly saw you when you walked up. Yeah, because I was about to say that other hollow that walked up to her was one of the people that she went down there with. You centered the story on yourself. Is there more to it that we don't know? Or you mean... Like, what do you mean by that? Yeah. <laughs> he said, yeah. Mr. Don. Okay. Yeah. 
そう、確かに選べなかったの。ちゃんと集中してプッシュフォーワードや。あ、あなたのことよくわからないって言っちゃったけど、それだけわかることがあって、あなたが何もかもを犠牲にしてでも踏みにじってでも叶えたかった願い。いや、that's true。村、生き場を失った人たちの故郷を作ることの恥がないと思うんです。Yeah, I was wondering last episode。yeah okay good job Rico I was wondering the same thing I was like because you didn't make it to the bottom 150 years okay I was wondering how long it's been this girl is smart. Mm. You're one of those guys that does everything he can. もう一度アビスに挑める。そういう夢は頬ほど見たけどよ。誰に背負わせるもんでもねえんじゃないの。麦ちゃん。That's true. To be fair though, it is Rico. If there was anyone that could handle that burden, it'd be Rico and Reg. <laughs> Wait, didn't you used to be human? Don't you know that language? The one with like the Cyclops eye with just a single eye in the middle? Oh, you're back. Hello. Oh, watch out, watch out. Yep. Alright. Rico, blow your whistle first. Give him a power up. Oh, yeah, you said you were gonna lead it away, Reg. <laughs> Uh, what is that? What is that? The balancing? You're quick to give in to despair. Okay. Yeah, what is it? Oh, did I know his name before? Wow. He just appeared one day. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, so you can't really balance him? Oh, it's getting its own symbiote. It's a venom now. Yeah, Rico, go ahead and... Oh, yeah, he transformed. Yeah, Rico, go ahead and blow the whistle. I'm not sure what kind of power-up he gets, but he's gonna need one. It'd be really nice to have another arm right now. <laughs> he's focused on holding Fapta's... Uh oh. Holding Fapta, or the piece of Fapta that he has. ファクターは勝ち抜けし、これをわずかに奪わせれば生産で奴を止められるか。いいね、迷ってる、迷ってる。生産の影響は受けないんだ。いや。部品を奪った後も止まらない。君たちを危険となって消化しようとしてる。
Jump, jump through it, through the hole. Oh, okay. Oh no, oh no. Is that how that works? Rico's kind of just pushing one of them back. Yeah, Reg, focus. Where is ba Bailiff? What's he doing? He's just hiding in his cave? Yeah, you don't really have a choice. Yeah. Alright, let loose. Yeah, I'd probably be on Faptus' side. I was talking about last episode how, you know, all those people live there. But even with, um, what's, what's the bartender's name? Go Goomy? Goody? Something like that. Even she said that she wanted to go explore again. So, like, they don't want to be trapped there. Or at least not all of them want to be trapped there anyway. Good job, Reg. I definitely would have aimed a little bit more to the right. <laughs> Try to get his entire upper half, but that works too. Oh, they're like floating. You got 10 minutes. Go to Nanachi. なるべく危険の少ないところで隠れていてくれ。コント仮想法の反動で2時間はコントをしてしまう。やっ。僕が目覚めるまで村の中で利口を守ってほしい。村の外はアビスの絶海分かっていると思うが。いや、but Oh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Have to. Oh, what is that? What are you doing? What was that like red shimmer? Or was that just the light reflecting off of you? Yeah, I knew you were still alive. I'm not surprised about that at all. Oh, the other, okay, yeah. Where did Fapta find him? Oh, wow. This got intense. Wow. She said, I'm here to put a stop to this. すべて忘れぬためにうん。寝台足にしてくれる。ケミ、ウィス、ケミスターウィズワジカワ、アンデンゴフロムエア。手出しはすなそす。あ、ファプトスダーターアイドウト、ダバウンシングウォッバザユ
夢でも夢でもいいから。Oh, that was a great transition to the credits. That was cool. I didn't even realize it. All right, so that's it for this episode of Made in Abyss.、Um, this episode was incredible. Well, not incredible that like a lot of stuff happened. It was just. I think the best part was obviously. was Is that considered a monologue? But when Reg used his incinerator and Fapta was finally able to infiltrate the village and just all the emotion. I don't even know. But the way that Fapta described her longing for this moment, you know, she was saying that you guys desecrated my mother, you know. um You speak her you speak her language and you use it for prayer, trying to pray to her. And you've taken on these forms, and it's just you talk about value and all this other stuff. But at the end of the day, this isn't what my mother wanted. You know, she didn't want to become a village for you guys to live in. She didn't want to be eternally used, I guess I would say, like used for the rest of time as a village, as a place to live, you know. And it was just really, it was just a really powerful speech that she gave. And, you know, last episode, I was kind of contemplating, I was thinking, you know, well, Is it right to destroy this village even though all these people are living here? But then the way that Fapta put it just now, I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah. It's it's not really fair to kill. Okay, if I'm talking about how my mindset from last episode, I was thinking it wasn't really fair to kill, to destroy the village and kind of displace all those people. But I side more with Fapta and them being how it's not fair to make somebody live as a vessel for you guys to live in for the rest of your lives. But I do hope that she starts with him,、um, which she's not going to. I'm sure he's going to find some kind of way to not stop Fapta, but somehow slow her down.、Uh, Wazikawa, I'm sure he's got some kind of contingency plan. I don't know what it is, but I know he has something. And the way that、uh, when Reg used his incinerator and blew the,、um, the, uh, the third sage in half, and you know, he kind of used the,、uh, the souls of Fapta's brother and sisters to heal himself. And it was really cool that Fapta also used the souls of her brother and sister. You know, Fapta is immortal, but the way that she was able to regenerate almost instantaneously and then also turn all the Dark Souls white, it's just, it's a visual way of showing that Fapta's intentions are also kind of, well, not even kind of, Fapta's intentions are at Emue's intentions. Like, Emue doesn't want to live forever and she wants to be put out of her misery in a way. So the fact that the,、uh, the souls responded to her and turned white kind of shows that her mission is pure. Even though you know, she does want to kill everybody in the, in the village and just destroy the whole thing. Like, the, it's what the village itself wants. So, you can't really fight. I don't know. I was about to say you can't really fight nature. I don't think that's a, I don't think that's a fair way to put that because it's not really nature you know, that caused all this to happen. It was just, you know, I guess one guy's prophecy in a way, which, yeah, I don't really know. But, yeah, but the other、uh, amazing part about this is just the parallel with Midi and Nanachi. And the parallel with、uh, Yuko and Edemue. And I, I noticed it in the very beginning too, because I kind of, well, did I compare it? I'm not sure if I did. But、um, whenever I, when I originally thought that Thapta was Edemue, when I thought that they were the same person, I did, however, make that correlation that, you know,、uh, that、uh, Yuko and Edemue loved each other so much that their situation was kind of the same. I figured that.、Um, You know, Yuko's love for Itimue kind of caused her to turn into a hollow. Even though that theory was wrong, I did kind of notice it at the very beginning about how, you know, their stories kind of correlate in a way.、They're, like I said, it's a parallel story. And the fact that Nanashi noticed it too here at the end was really interesting. And I like that, I guess he set her free, I guess you could say, that Bailiff let Nanashi wake up. And he was saying, you know, it's no longer a dream. You can go and live that. You can go. You know, Nanachi said that they kind of found their treasure, and Bailiff was like, you know, it doesn't have to be a dream for you anymore. Like, you can go and live that as well. So, I'm, I'm assuming he's setting them free. I'm assuming that's what happened because he knows that Fapta is there to destroy the village. I think that's what's going on. But yeah, like I said, the only question left is like, I know Wazikawa has some kind of contingency plan, and I, I, I'm excited to see it. I don't know what it's going to be, but I don't think he's going to go down without a fight. So,、um, 
yeah, but other than that, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.